on the fifth day of October, Halloween gave to me five children yowling, four zombie bulls, three haunted mirrors, two monster houses, and a fog that makes it hard to see. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to October 5th. That's right, our first uh, week of Halloween is nearing its end. But, oh, we have so much more to go. Uh, before we even get uh, the, to the, the future stuff, let's talk about the fifth movie chosen for the 31 Days of Halloween by yours truly, Bo Ransdell, the editor-in-chief of LegionPodcasts.com. And, look, I have a long relationship with this movie, which, of course, is Juan the Grudge. It is a movie that I found pretty early on in terms of Japanese and Asian cinema. It was a, a movie I came to um, pretty quickly. And when I saw it for the first time, I thought it was amazing. You know, it scared the ever-living shit out of me. So, I, uh, I, I adored it on that level because, as I've said on... Uh, many shows across the the podcast network over the course of my life that, you know, as, as an older guy who has watched horror movies for a long, long time, it is very difficult for a horror movie to scare me anymore. Now, I'm always in the mood to be scared by a horror movie. It's just that... It, it's just that it's tough, right? I've seen most of the tricks. I've seen most of the moves. It's It's hard for a movie to surprise me these days. And so, even though I saw Juan, uh, The Grudge, earlier than, you know, my jaded commentary would suggest, uh, when I saw it, I was immediately affected by it. I was confused by it, as most viewers are, because of the very strange chronological construction of that movie. But that is also one of the things that I find to be, you know really satisfying about the movie is that it is so disorienting in its construction of like, wait a second, she's dead. Why is she in this scene? Oh my God, this is happening before that. Wait, when is this happening? Is this happening years later? Why is the old lady's hair dark again? You know, those are the kinds of questions you will ask yourself in, uh, in, in the viewing of Juan the Grudge. And, uh, you know, for those who haven't seen it uh, and have only heard talk of Juan the Grudge in legend, very quickly, the idea behind the film is that uh, there is a house that is uh, w was the uh, site of a, a horrible event that has created a, a grudge, a, a spirit, a vengeful spirit. And the thing that I've always liked about Juan and, and the grudge and the Juan series, just the, the concept as a whole, is that... It doesn't matter who you are, where you came from, what you did. If you go in the house, you're fucked. Doesn't matter. You can't argue with it. You can't fight against it. It's just going to eventually come and take you. And that to me is the, the pinnacle of horror, right? It is it is the fear of disease and death and, and time and age and all that stuff. It is the inevitable. It is the thing that no matter... It, that that's random, that that is uh, un un uh, unseeable, unknowable. But then when it happens, it's it's undefeatable, and that kind of thing scares the ever living shit out of me. You know, the notion that this thing could happen to you this one moment in your life that seemed completely inconsequential in the moment, like taking, you know, a step over this doorway, that that dooms you. You know, you don't know. Nobody's outside telling you, like, don't go in that house because once you do, there's a Yure that's going to come after you, a little kid in elevators, and it's going to scare the shit out of you, and then it's going to kill you. Um, nobody nobody ever says that in the movie. You know, the the characters are on their own, and, and as such, they kind of fumble their way uh, through the story, and you discover the origin of the haunting. But it doesn't change anything. It doesn't make anything better. And that's really... Again, that you know, the, the thing that I find terrifying about about the Grudge, and and there's a bit of shared DNA, I think, with something like Oculus, which we we talked about back on day three, and that is that 
there is an undeniability to the haunting that it is absolutely happening and that you can't do anything about it. You can try and maybe you'll succeed a little bit, but it is, it, it's something. And, uh, and I love it. And then I, so I, I love the original movie. I was dating a girl in, uh, at the time of the remake. So we went to see that because I wanted to see it and, you know, see how it stacked up to the original. And she had never seen Certainly not the original movie. She wasn't a, a horror movie kind of lady. And we went to see that movie and she was scared. The it, like the remake scared her as much as the original scared me, which led me to my later theory that it kind of doesn't matter which version of the grudge you see, whether it's the original Japanese version or the uh, Takashi Shimizu directed remake. He did, he did both movies, so it's the same guy doing both. And I think it's just a matter of which, which one you ran into first, you know, which, which doors threshold do you, you stepped over, uh, before, uh, seeing the other, if, if indeed you ever saw the other, if you did, uh, you, you kind of only need to see one or the other strangely, but it's a, uh, it's a terrific movie. If it's been a while since you've revisited it, I, I highly recommend you turn down the lights uh, you turn the sound way up because there's some great sound design with that death croak that uh, 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 I can't quite do it. But if I could, it's all I would ever do <laughs> until my throat finally gave out. So, it yeah, it's a terrific movie. Um, I watched it. Where did I watch it? I think I might have watched it on Google or something, a Google Play, something like that. It was, uh, oh, I take that back. I have my own copy of Juwan. So I watched this with uh, my own copy, but I believe that various versions of Juan the Grudge, uh, the Takeshi Shimizu uh, directed film, uh, should be available streaming online. You might have to pay, you know, a couple, three bucks to rent it in some locations, but uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, I, I think it's a terrifying film, and it's not overtly a Halloween film, but man, if you scare me like the Grudge does, it kind of don't matter. <laughs> you can you can pop onto my Halloween list any old time, The Grudge. So uh, anyway, that is day five. You should get you should see the, Juwan the Grudge uh, if you've never seen it, and if you ha have seen it, and it's been a while, go back and revisit it. Still fucking terrifying. So let's get to uh, what's coming up. Um, we've got another twenty five days ahead of us before we get to our final movie, which I'm very excited about watching. And I keep seeing people that like it's. Ah, we'll we'll talk about it later. So uh, I'm I'm excited to watch that final movie. But between now and then, we've got a lot of movies. We got uh, all kinds of fun to be had. And of course, uh, be sure that you are dropping me a line uh, to share what you're watching and what your traditions are. Uh, he says, as he's about to spend, uh, several hours in the yard prepping styrofoam, uh, tombstones. Um, and, uh, and let me know how you're enjoying your Halloween. I'm, I'm having a blast so far and I can't wait for more, quite frankly. So, uh, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to start, uh, decorating and then watching some scary movies today. And then I'll be back with you tomorrow. Uh, after you drop me the line at bow at legionpodcast.com, make the subject line Halloween, and uh, and we will uh, reconvene tomorrow morning about this time to uh, to discuss our next film, the sixth film on October 6th uh, in our 31 days of Halloween. Guys, uh, have, a, have a wonderful beginning to your week. Uh, more than anything, have a spooky beginning uh, to your week. Keep Halloween holy in your heart. And, uh, and be scary to everyone you you run into, but the good kind of scary, not like AK-47s and whatnot, but like, you know, uh, appropriate masks and maybe t-shirts that say, hey, remember there's a horrifying pandemic going on? That kind of shit. So <laughs> that's the best Halloween costume of all. <laughs> Just a, a costume that is nothing but headlines from this year. Um, uh, when you win every uh, Halloween costume contest that you ran into... Uh, if in fact you have one, which you probably don't because of, uh, the headlines, uh, that you can read on the costume. Um, enough of that, uh, have a great spooky day, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for, uh, October 6th and the sixth movie until then. Bye. Bye.